Welcome to the Toxin Terminator, helping people to restore and renew their health by removing the toxins from the home and their lives. Join in as industry thought leaders help you understand the physical and emotional effects these products can have on you and your family, and the safe alternatives you can use to remove the hidden toxins for renewed health. Now, please welcome your host, the Toxin Terminator herself, Amy Carlson. 60% of people are suffering from a chronic disease today. There are five main sources in our home that are contributing to those chronic diseases. And most people have no idea that they're using materials within their homes that are actually making them sick. What if you could clean your home safely? You could have easy to make recipes with items you already have, and you could make a few small changes to get yourself on that path to wellness. In my course, I'll show you how to detox each and every room of your house and create a healthy home environment. Hello, everybody. How are you? And happy December. You know, I know that disease, most disease is preventable and reversible by lifestyle choices that we make. And the CDC even tells us that what we eat, how we move, and our environment play the three important roles in whether we're going to develop a chronic disease or not. So I wanted to come to you guys all and give you a toxin-free shopping guide. And I'm going to go room by room through your house. We're going to do the kitchen. We're going to do the bathroom, the laundry room, and the bedroom. And I'm going to be sharing with you my top products that I absolutely love. And not only am I giving you that, but I'm also going to be um, showing you or, or I've got a, a link. So in the show notes when this airs, there will be links to all of the products that I tell you about. And I'm scrolling that right at the bottom. So if you are watching this live and you are not listening to the podcast, you'll be able to see that, which is just my website, amycarlson.com forward slash landing forward slash kitchen. And you will be able to uh, grab yourself any of these products. Listen, we're in shopping mode right now, right? And we're spending money. So why not give ourselves and our loved ones the gift of wellness, right? So let's get started. I want to walk through some of the top products we use inside the kitchen that really we need to take a second look at, don't you think? So let's start with... Um, what we cook with. Shall we go to cookware? So in our home, and I've got stuff sitting over here to the side. And if you're listening to the podcast, I apologize, you're not going to be able to see this. But so many of us are using nonstick cookware. And we're using, um, which has Teflon in it. And that's full of um, carcinogens. Carcinogens are known to cause cancer when we're using things in high temperature. And you know, when you use it, all that um, coating flakes off. You can see you start scratching the surfaces and that's getting into and leaching into our food and we don't want to use that. So the best recommendations, and I'm going to show here, is stainless steel is totally um, acceptable option. And this is what we use now. If you buy a good set of stainless steel, it's going to last you for a lot of time. I think this set here that we have, um, I inherited from my husband when I married him. And I think it's better than 40 years old. Uh, it, it just goes on and on and on. You can also use, and I'm going to read my notes here, when it comes to cookware, stainless steel is the number one. Cast iron is really recommended. Some people are sensitive to cast iron. So if you if you can't use cast iron, there's stainless steel. And then there's also ceramic. Um, and we have to be careful when we look at ceramic. So my top tips for those are um, there is a company called Green Pan that has ceramic non stick cookware that really is a good brand and it's called green pan and then um when when it comes to stainless steel i think i linked in a brand called give me a second i'm going to pull it up why i didn't have that here is beyond me yeah you know what uh 
we'll just um <laughs> I just went live before I was ready. Well, my green pan, and then we've got on um, stain. No, I just stainless steel. You just need to look and find your own. I did not have a brand that I recommended because I used the Royal Prestige. So I apologize. But my green pan, because a lot of people like that nonstick. They've gotten used to it in a cup stand. And in my green pan on that link, they also have bamboo utensils that they include with the set, which is fantastic because we don't want to be using the plastic cookware. Um, I don't know if you've noticed it, but when we buy that plastic cookware, that black plastic, it actually peels off and leaches into our food. So make sure you're using stainless steel utensils or the bamboo is a fantastic option as well. All right. So we went, we talked about cookware. Now, what about storage, right? So we also have to store our food and lots of different options when we come to storage. But in our home, I replaced all of our plastic with um, glass jars. And then they have these Loctite uh, lids that come with them. Um, these are plastic, but the, the jar itself is, is glass. So these are a great option. And Pyrex has a brand, and I've got like three different options that I actually post for storage. Because you've got glass, that's number one. Another option, and I have my dish soap stored in here, but I'm going to show you, is a mason jar. Mason jars are fantastic to store food in very inexpensive um, to do. So that's an option. Now, you you know, some of you might be saying, well, I have kids and um, I cannot store, you know, stuff in glass. And this cookware here as well, I wanted to just let you know. And again, I apologize for those who are, are listening and not watching. This cookware, you can just take and heat right up in the toaster oven. You can heat right up in the oven um, with the glass. You don't have to worry about that. So that's a great option in here. But if you have kids, they actually have a toxin-free silicone um, storage container. So there's a couple different companies. Um, number one, there is um, Pyrex, and I've linked um, to a set on the... Um, a uh, website linked below, the amycarlson.com slash landing slash kitchen. Uh, Collapse It is a brand that has silicone toxin-free storage containers, which is great for um, uh, a storage that you don't have to have a whole lot of space as well. They they collapse down and they're very, uh, they are um, dishwasher safe. They're microwave safe now. I don't personally use a microwave, but I know many of you do. Um, so they are microwave safe as well. And then, and that comes in a, I think I linked to a four piece storage set or a seven piece set on that, but there's also reusable silicone bags that you can wash up because a lot of times we don't have enough and we wanna just stick it inside of a bag, but we don't wanna use plastic. So they have, um, there's a six piece set that I linked to for the reusable silicone food storage bags. So that's another great option, especially if you have kids and you don't want glass around, how, you know, the, an accident with it breaking. I also want to talk about in the kitchen, um, let's talk about our appliances because there's a lot of appliances that we use that actually are leaching toxins into our food when we're using them. And a couple of them that I want to talk about are our blenders. Have you ever thought about that? I didn't even think about it. Oh, so many of the blenders have a, a plastic container that we're using to actually blend in. And so if we've got something hot, if we have something, um, you know, that, that sometimes it can get chewed up, it can leach uh, the little plastic bits inside of our food. So we want to make sure that we're looking for a blender that has a glass container or a stainless steel. Now, I've linked to a Black & Decker glass blender uh, for you guys to check out, and that will be linked on the website. Coffee makers. Don't even get me started on coffee makers. There's so much toxic about to coffee makers. For number one is you've got the tubes inside of the coffee makers, whether it's a Keurig or it's just the you know pot that you pour the water in and it pours out and the mold and bacteria can get inside there. And I know if you're like me, you're not cleaning it out weekly or daily. Uh, and so that stuff just gets 
inside those coffee pods. So I personally myself don't use them and I don't recommend using them. I am linking to a couple of different options. So there is a West Bend electric percolator. Remember those ones, guys? Um, so you just put the grounds in on the top, you fill it up with water, plug it in, and it percolates the coffee for you. Uh, so that is one option for the coffee pot. Now, me personally, I use a French press. And for those watching, you'll see me showing my French press here. I absolutely love this. It takes less than five minutes. I use a teapot to warm up the water, um, put my grounds inside here. Um, they're coarsely ground. I can make sure I've got organic coffee. It's a glass container and stainless steel. So I know I'm using safe products to make my coffee with. Um, the other appliance that I, it, which is a common one, there's more. And I just want to kind of go through the really common stuff here with you guys. And I apologize. I'm not watching my comments on here either. But what about the slow cookers? Um, those are ceramic. A lot of them have a ceramic pan inside of them. And so ceramic, depending on what kind it is, I know I talked about a ceramic coated pans over here and um, Caraway has a great product there and so does Green Pan. Um, but we really want to watch that ceramic, that that ceramic is not touching the food surfaces. Now, in a slow cooker, the pan inside, most of them are ceramic. Now, here's an option, and I've put a link, it is for an Instapot. I love my Instapots because I can put frozen stuff in there. It's so much quicker than a slow cooker. I can put it in in the morning and come out, uh, back to it at the end of the day. It'll keep it warm just like a slow cooker does, even though it's cooked it prior to. And those have a stainless steel inside container. So I know that we're not leaching any of those harmful chemicals off of the ceramic. So there we've covered blenders. We've covered our slow cookers and we've covered coffee makers. So those are kind of the three big appliances that we use um, repeatedly. And I'm putting links for those. We've talked about food storage and how we don't really want to use our plastic. And I'm putting links to lots of different. I've got links to mason jars. I've got links. And a lot of these are through Amazon, guys. There are Amazon links um, on the page for you. And we've talked about cookware, cast iron. Stainless steel and ceramic coated are um, obviously our better choices in terms of what kind of cookware that we are using. Let's talk one more thing before we get into some um, cleaning products, and that's our water. So my best recommendation with water is to have a whole house filtration system. And I understand that a lot of people are in a situation where Maybe they're in a temporary housing and they don't want to put a whole house system in. Maybe you're just in a point because, um, and I'll give you some price breaks downs. I am actually affiliated with a couple of different companies. And um, here in our homes, we do two things. Number one is we do a water softener system with an ion filter on it. It's called an ion exchange filter that is on the water softener for the entire house. And then I put in a reverse osmosis that does all of our drinking water. So reverse osmosis is really, really good for the drinking water. And if you look at um, EWG's website, they actually recommend reverse osmosis is kind of the number one choice. So there's a lot of different choices out there. But when I looked at the companies, because Aquasana has all kinds of different systems um, to uh, work with. And they're anywhere from like $300 up to $1,000. And I put the link in there so you can go check out all the different options that are available. You can also um, put in activated carbon filters as well. And we have that attached. So our... Um, our water source comes into the house, it goes through an activated carbon filter, and then it goes into the water softener. And then for drinking water, we have the reverse osmosis. So I've kind of covered all of the bases of the filtration systems that are available for our homes. And this is going to make sure that we have good, clean, not only drinking water, but water to wash our clothes in, water to wash our bodies in, water to wash our dishes in. 
Having clean, healthy water is so, so very important. And these are some great links. And many of the companies, I um, Berkey is having a, a sale going on right now, and so is Aquasonic. And I put both of those links in. They have from uh, tabletop, you know, uh, countertop to whole systems for the house. So you can check those out and um, uh, use those, those links. Also, another great resource for your water is to go to the EWG. And I actually put the link, specific link for the testing um, page. Um, EWG, for those of you who are listening, is the Environmental Working Group. And they do all kinds of research for us and let us know different products that are safe for us. They've got all kinds of scientists and research that are working for them. They have in their site a page where you can go in and type in your zip code and it will give you your water analysis. And that's kind of the key place to start when we're looking at filtration systems for our home is to know what is the water quality that's coming into the home? What contaminants are in here? So what kind of filtration system am I going to need to use? Does that make sense? Um, so check that out. I post that in the link uh, that you're seeing at the bottom of the screen as well. And again, that's just amycarlson.com forward slash landing forward slash kitchen to get all of these links. And many of these companies that I'm linking to have holiday specials. And that will um, give you those holiday specials in those links. Hey there, I wanted to take a minute to talk about the everyday products you are using in your home. Many of us are label hunting. They're examining every product in the house to make sure it's toxic free. And I totally understand that, hey, we're not all scientists and maybe we just want that easy button to help pick the right products. That's why I aligned with Young Living, a whole health and wellness company that has all the clean products you know. From essential oils to personal care products, makeup, supplements, items for kids and babies, and the list goes on. Almost any everyday item you could think of using. And the best part is, Young Living's products are seed to seal. They're backed by high quality standards. They're the leader in the industry and one of the only essential oil companies that have their own farms. I've been there. They're incredible. These are great natural products that you can use right at home. If you want to shop worry-free for home products, click my link in the show notes and see the quality products from Young Living. Okay, so we covered water and we've covered up the other stuff. Let's get into what I do dishes with, what I wash my hands with, what I clean with. Does that sound good now? Um, and I can move this over and go right into it. So I've got a couple different companies that I really like. And over the last seven years, guys, I've tried a lot. And since I've been doing the podcast for a year and a half now, there's a lot of companies that send me products to check out and test for them. And I love that. So I get to try different things because I want to make sure, you know, I'm giving you guys all the different options, um, not just basing it with one company. Those, there's some companies that I just keep coming back to. I just absolutely love the products and I keep coming back to them. But a new one I found for the dishwasher, and you're going to hear about them in the laundry room, is a company called My Green Fills. Now, I like several things about the company. Number one is they are... Uh, uh, toxin free and many of their products. And I'll talk about that in just a moment, but they also are environmentally friendly. So for those of you who can see me, um, I'm holding up, this is their dishwasher soap and it comes in a plastic bag, but I just store it inside uh, a mason jar and I'm showing you the mason jar and it has a little scoop. You just use one scoop of this for the dishwasher. And I really like that they're not using a lot of packaging with all of their products. They're just sending you a package to refill your containers. So this, um, this dishwasher soap has sodium citrate. It has sodium sulfate, sodium carbonate, sodium percarbonate, um, acrylic terpolymer, it's a phosphate free anti spotting and anti filming agent, laurel alcohol, which is a cleaning agent, 
and inulin, which is a chelating agent. Um, it also has enzymes in there to help break down the, the um, food particles in here. And I just love it. And it is not highly scented. Um, My Green Fills does have products that have their what they call their signature scent. And I'm not a big fan of that because I've used essential oils for the past seven years. So I, I know what is a good scent and what is not. Um, so they do have a lot of unscented products as well. And this is their dishwasher soap. And I link to them in that. Not only do they have the dishwasher soap, but they have a booster and a rinse aid. And this comes in a little package that you just add here. When you get it, you're just going to keep adding it in. And I love this because I have spot-free dishes that are crystal clear, um, especially if you're dealing with hard water. This is a, a rinse agent is really, really nice to have. And so I really like my green fills as a company where you can get your um, dishwasher soap. Um, now, another company that I like for their products as well as Young Living, and I'm linking uh, to them as well. They've got a lot of different products for the home, and I'm, I'm really focused on the kitchen right now. One of the products that I'm showing in our um, live screen is the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Wash. Now, I've done a lot of videos on uh, produce. So even though we might be buying organic produce, a lot of times we get waxes on the produce and we've got dirt, you know, on the produce. So we want to clean them off. And this is just full of some enzymes and essential oils that helps get all of that stuff, especially the wax, you know, off of there and um, really get it nice and clean for us so that we've got good, healthy um, produce. Now, what I find, and all I do is take one cap full to a sink full of cold water, um, cold water, and just let it sit for two to three minutes and then rinse it off. And also using this, I have found that my produce lasts longer, um, usually by about three or four days versus if I do not clean it with the Thieves uh, Fruit and Veggie Wash. So that's one of the products. This Thieves line is amazing, and there's lots of different products out there. Now, they also have their household cleaner. Let me get it turned around here, guys, for you. So the Thieves Household Cleaner. All I do with the Thieves Household Cleaner is take one capful. Just in for those that are watching me, you can see it's just one capful. I fill that up. I add it to at least a 12 ounce bottle. You can add it up to 20 ounces. And then I fill the rest with water. And that's it. This little bottle right here will last me a year of my cleaning in my home. Now, for those of you, and this will clean everything. I use it on granite, hardwood floors, glass, uh, stainless steel, everything. Sometimes, though, you do need that little extra oomph. So I'm actually going to make this in the live video. I've got a little um, Pyrex um, glass jar, and I just eyeball this. Um, and I needed to make some up for my house, so I'm going to make it up. So I'm just adding baking soda in here. And I just added, oh, that's probably about three tablespoons of, of baking soda that I added in. And then I'm going to take the Thieves Household Cleaner, and I'm going to add, oh, golly, uh, just enough to make this a paste. So I'm going to add in one, two, about three tablespoons. And let's see how this works. I'm also going to add, I love essential oils in the kitchen, um, a couple, about three, four drops of lemon essential oil. And I'm going to add about three or four drops of peppermint essential oil. Now, essential oils have so many antibacterial and antiviral uh, properties to them. They're fantastic to add to your cleaning products. They're fantastic to be diffusing. You can see in the top of my screen, I've got a diffuser going. And all I'm going to do is mix this up. And for those of you who can see me, and I know this is a podcast, so go to my YouTube channel and you can watch this uh, so you can see what I'm doing. This makes up a nice little paste. And what I like to do is I keep this in an airtight container. And now I have like almost a soft scrub. I can add more Thieves Household Cleaner if I want to and make it a little more runny. But what I use this for is glass shower doors. That's number one. 
And I've got the um, glass cooktop surfaces. So I really like this. Um, just grab with the washcloth and use it for a little extra elbow grease. And that really kicks in and helps a lot for that. So that's my options for more of a heavy duty cleaner and very, very clean and safe for us. Um, dish soap. Again, the Thieves does have a dish soap. Um, I can't find my bottle of it uh, to show you, but there is a uh, dish soap for if you're hand washing your soap to use. And then obviously when we're at the sink, we're keeping in some hand soap and I keep lotion at the sink as well. And so I, I love that with Young Living, they have several different foaming hand soap. This one is called Winter Nights. So it's perfect for having through the holidays and through the winter time. It has a really nice cinnamon pine kind of scent to it. Um, but they also have the Thieves uh, foaming hand soap and they've got the lavender foaming hand soap and a luscious lemon foaming hand soap that are fantastic. And then I, I'm using the Winter Nights uh, hand soap, which is fantastic to use. So these are my tips. Again, we've covered cleaning in the kitchen. We have covered, uh, let's see, we've covered cleaning, dishwasher, we've covered water filtration and my recommendations for that. We've covered cookware, food storage, and a few of the most common appliances um, that we can use inside the kitchen. So again, you know, we're spending money <clears throat> at this time of the year buying holiday gifts, whether it be for ourselves or for our family and loved ones. Why not make a healthier purchase uh, for ourselves and our loved ones and give the gift of wellness? A lot of these things are under $20 and all the way up, I have, uh, you know, Obviously, water filtration systems can run up to $1,000 depending on, but I think the most expensive one was right around $600. And uh, the, the pan set that I connected to was a couple hundred dollars on stainless steel. And again, that's going to last you years. My stainless steel set is over 40 years old um, that we have had this stainless steel set. So um, you know, lots of different price ranges in there. And I hope you guys are enjoying these tips to make your home toxin free because it's really going to make a difference on your overall health. You guys have a blessed day. That's all for this episode of the Toxin Terminator. And we hope we've helped you remove the hidden toxins in your life for renewed health. If you're looking to continue your journey towards full rejuvenation, reach out to Amy directly by visiting amycarlson.com for your own one-on-one -on -one chat session, as well as your free toxic risk assessment. That's A-I-M-E-E carlson.com. And remember, you are just one small change away from renewed health.